Hello, I want to talk about Castlemaine. You may have seen a recent ABC report which said that there were just 10 rentals available in the town while there's a big homelessness crisis. That doesn't really quite cover it. It is shockingly bad. I had a look on realestate.com.au today uh, and saw six places for rent in Castlemaine and they're quite expensive. I also had a look at Airbnb and this is what came up. The situation is pretty damn dire. So I spoke to someone living there uh, experiencing housing insecurity uh, and they told me a number of things. Number one, the support services are well past their breaking point. At one point they reached out to a crisis service uh, for housing and the crisis service gave her a tent. There are tent cities in the town. Um, there are people who, locals, who can't afford to live there um, because, you know, of our housing crisis that we're experiencing. And there are tent cities that are popping up. What's worse is the housing services in the area are not talking to law enforcement. So every now and then the police rock up and give move on orders to people who are living in tents and then take possession of their property. The local member for this area is Marie Edwards. She's a Labor Party MP and lists three properties on her register of interest. She also lists LSE Development Trust on her uh, register of interest, um, which means she's a beneficiary of this trust and she describes this trust as a trust established to acquire property. Naturally, the Labor Party, represented by people like this, have no interest in actually solving the housing crisis because they are personally and financially benefiting from the housing crisis. They are benefiting uh, from homelessness because it raises the price of their investment properties and that is just ridiculous. This video is not about these politicians or anything, but I just want to remind you at your next election, please do not vote for a landlord. At the same time that all of this is going on, the My Home Network mentions that there are 1,300 vacant dwellings in the Shire, um, which can be used to house people, obviously. So I guess the next logical question is, what can you do about it? Um, and if you're in the area and you're interested in actually doing something and you have the capability to, I would really suggest getting in touch with the My Home Network group and seeing how you can be involved. Um, they're, I think, involved with Delkaya Health. I'm not sure how it all works, but there's a Get Involved kind of section on the website and I'll link it somewhere. Um, also, we have a number of members in Bendigo and Castlemaine in Rahu. So obviously, please join Rahu because we do a bunch of direct action stuff that is, that is helping people. But finally, uh, here are the addresses of two empty homes homes in Castlemaine and they are 46 William Street and also 112 Farnsworth Street. Now we've checked these houses they are empty but if you are in the area please let me know if there are empty homes near you through the link in my link tree. It's not right that people are homeless while we have empty homes. There should be no homes without people while there are people without homes. It's becoming pretty obvious that the ruling class do not care about any of this. And the only thing that makes them care is if they're scared about their profits. So it's about time we made them a bit scared. Anyways, thanks for listening to the video. I really appreciate it. If you want to support the stuff that I do, um, please feel free to uh, grab some merch um, in the link tree or join the Patreon if you can. Obviously, uh, everything sucks right now, so please don't feel pressured to do that by any stretch. Also, we're going to be having a volunteer social on the 29th of November uh, between 6 and 9 p.m. Uh, so if you want to come along to that, uh, Please come along. It'll be fun. Anyways, love you all.